This is a very quick video today for explanation on monoblock amplifiers, class D amplifiers, one channel amplifiers, and why there's two positive negative inputs, but you only need to use one, and does it really matter? So in summary, this video is just kind of an explaining that real quick. So if anybody doesn't know, uh, monoblock single channel amplifiers, you see two positives and two negatives on your amp. Uh, forget the wire, sorry it's a little ugly, but just use the concept for this, view, this video. So there's two negatives and two positives. Why do they have two positive and negatives if it's a one channel lamp? Does it matter? 100% no, this is in series together, well parallel, so these two negatives are hooked together. So if I was to move that wire there, or that wire there, as long as it's on the positive end, these two wires are actually hooked together inside the amplifier if you look into it you'll see these two wires are hooked in together too. So why they do this is so they give you more than one input. So if, especially if you're running more than one sub, so two subwoofers, four, six, eight, it gives you more um, room for you to connect your inputs of your speaker wires. So this is not a two channel concept amplifier. This is a monoblock amplifier. And the reason they do that, I guess the only thing I can think of is the reason is so that they have more than one input for you to be able to input your dual voice call subwoofer. So say you got a dual two, you can run each positive and negative to each wire input of your amplifier, or it gives you the additional feature in case you have to run more than one speaker wire. It gives you a little bit more connection points too. So if I was to run uh, one positive and negative from each terminal of my single 10 inch subwoofer inside my box here, check out the videos on my channel for build updates on this, build videos of this. But that's the reason um, I could do that but right now I just have it wired together on my box to my subwoofer. So I just have, I'll show you real quick inside the box explaining this. Go ahead and give some comment section in the comment section, guys. Let me know, let the guys know, because this video is for people that are learning, not for uh, us that know everything. All right, so I actually have my positive and negatives. This is a dual subwoofer, dual voice coil, DVC, double voice coil subwoofer, 10 inch. So I have two positives and two negatives. What I did was I ran one positive and positive together and one negative and negative together. I did a subwoofer jump speaker wire. So I just literally ran, you can see it. I have a speaker wire here on the positive and negative of the speaker running to the other side of the other speaker. And I did that so that way I didn't have to have, but one speaker wire output coming out of my box. So one negative, which is the ground with the black tape and one negative or positive with just the regular without ground uh, black wire. So I know this one's power, this one's ground. Well positive and negative and then that's ran to the actual amplifier so it's not going to matter if you use one or both for mono blocks uh two channels it will because you, then you'll be bridging it or running it for each channel but that's the question answered there so it does not matter if you use just one or both so that just gives you the additional feature if i didn't want to jump my speaker wire between my subwoofers on just a jumper wire then i could have ran one positive from each subwoofer terminal coil to here so then i would have used both positive and both negatives but it really doesn't matter you might gain tenths of watts so i could gain 15 20 watts out of my amp using both if i was to run it to both coils because you have additional current flow going through amp different multiple wires but that's another topic you can think about is is it really going to be worth it somebody running a lot of power it's definitely worth using every speaker input because then you're going to be getting more um, power out of your wire feed it's better to have current going through two wires than it is to go through one wire in general summary that's why i run dual inputs anyway that's the video i hope i taught somebody that the newbie ones everybody that knows car audio well already knows this but hopefully i answered that question jacob all out